Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel VBA code tutorials. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to find the last inserted row of an Excel sheet dynamically select the range in VBA code using user form. So let's start the tutorial. Now let's check the final output. And here we got the final output, the last cell number is 12 because we have the last number is 12 only, the row number is 12. Now close this one, we'll add one more row uh, employee number 12, Jack and his salary is 12,500. Now switch over to user form, when I run this application, notice here we got the last cell number is 13. See here we got that. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Notice on my Excel sheet contains some records. Up to 12 rows I have added into this Excel sheet. Now my aim is when I run this application, I want to get the last inserted row number is 12. So let's write the coding part. To create a user form, go to developer, developer visual basic, create the user form and here we got the user form, first we we'll add one list box here, after that we will add one more label control below, here the label control it will display the row numbers. So first we will populate the data into this list box, view code. We require the user initialize. Let's read this quick event list box one dot list is equals to range method a one colon. I'm adding up to c fifteen dot value. After that, I'm adding the column count is equals to. We have three columns. That's it. Let's run this example. See here we got all the records are in this list box. Now I want to display the row number 12 here dynamically. So let's close this one. Um, switch over to the VBA code. Select the label 1. I am deleting this default label 1. The uh, What I will do is um, I click the mouse, view code, here I am adding the initialize method only, label one dot caption is equals to, uh, here the last row which is the cell number, cell number is ampersand I am concatenating with the last number, row number, with this string, with this string, active sheet, active sheet dot, cells dot, special cell, special cells, excel type, excel, uh, excel, Mm, cell type cell type excel cell type last cell dot i want to get row so i'm adding row number row here that's it this is the code to get the last row number of this sheet active sheet dot cells specific cells is a method inside that excel cell type last call dot row expected end of the statement we need to add that's it let's run this application don't forget to add this ampersand now let's run this application and notice here we got the last row cell number is 12 because we have 12 here now what i'll do is we will increase the size and we will increase the font also bold 
12 okay now let's check the final output and here we got the final output the last cell number is 12 because we have the last number is 12 only the row number is 12 now close this one we'll add one more row uh, employee number 12 jack and his salary is 12,500 now switch over to user form when i run this application notice here we got the last cell number is 13 see here we got that that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to insert the last row number of the cell dynamically display using user form in excel vba code thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel catch you in my next video tutorial